Little Jamie, little Jamie, we sure glad you were here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. Today I just wanted to share something that I hope will be encouraging. I talked a little bit on my last video about uh, a little meeting I had with Terrence Howard, kind of like a jam session in my living room. And some people were asking me to reiterate on the story. And it just kind of got me thinking of the different seasons in life that we all experience and how during the good seasons we can enjoy them so much that when the bad seasons or more difficult seasons come, we almost forget that the, the good seasons ever existed. Um, and so there's a particular scripture that speaks to this specifically, and it's Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. It reads, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. I really love this scripture because I really find it encouraging. While it is talking about some of the more difficult times and seasons in life, it talks about some of the more easy, happier seasons in the same breath. And this is so key to me because sometimes we are so happy in the easy seasons that when the harder seasons come, it's like we forget that we ever enjoyed any happiness. And sometimes when those more difficult seasons come first, or sometimes when those seasons last a little longer than we expected, sometimes we give up in those seasons and never get to the happy, joyful season. And one story that I have shared already in this is um, when I was talking about uh, Terrence Howard and the jam session that we had um, in my living room. At the time, he had been in movies, he, you know, had, had done things um, in entertainment, but he hadn't felt like he reached the pinnacle of success that he wanted to reach. Um, he was tired and he had other gifts. And, and I was shocked to find that day that he really was a, a gifted or is a gifted writer and singer and um, he plays guitar as well. <laughs> I see also sharing that because he was spending so much time trying to reach the pinnacle of success he was trying to reach with acting <coughs> that he really wasn't getting the opportunity to do what he wanted to do musically and so 
he was just in a difficult place where he really, really, really wanted to quit. And when I listened to him play and sing, my mom was sitting there too. I just remember thinking how really gifted he was and how it was a shame that he even was in the place where he wanted to quit. This is a song that he played. It made me think of this scripture because we don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring. We don't know that, you know, today we're in poverty, but tomorrow we might hit the lottery. We don't know that today we're riding the bus, but tomorrow we might be riding a Bentley. Like, you don't know. And if you give up while you're riding the bus, then you never get to the Bentley. And that meeting was really a great lesson for me because very shortly after that, Hustle and Flow came out and it was really a big movie. And uh, I remember my mom's voice on the couch telling Terrence after we listened to his music and after just sitting and talking for a while, I remember her just really encouraging him not to give up because she was saying that you, you, you don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring and she shared that she understood his feeling tired and just, you know, feeling a little worn from all the work that he had done to get to the point where he was, but she encouraged him to keep going and she encouraged him not only to keep acting, but also to continue to do his music because she said, you never know what God has in store. You never know what tomorrow is gonna to bring and you never know how that gift of music is going to factor in with maybe some great role that you'll have an opportunity to get somewhere in the near future. And then lo and behold, Empire is born. And he's in this role where he's able to act, but then also to um, do some of the things that he was doing musically and to just to share the fact that he is a musical person as well. And there's a blessing in that story for me because so often from day to day, we can only see the day to day. We can only see the day that we're in now. We can't sometimes see far beyond that, especially if the day now that we are experiencing is gloomy and hard and we're getting tired. So I just wanted to encourage someone today, if you are in the season of tears, the season of war, the season of struggle, keep going. Be encouraged. You never know what tomorrow is going to bring. You can be on the bus today and in a Bentley tomorrow. You can be in poverty today and hit the lottery tomorrow. You can be somebody that nobody even knows today and tomorrow be a famous celebrity living the life of your dreams. I mean, you just really never know what tomorrow brings, but that's where faith comes into play. You have to believe that your dreams can come true and that the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. And it's, it's wonderful that we have the Bible as a reference because you can go to scriptures like Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and read where although there are difficult seasons, we can rest assured that those difficult seasons are not going to last forever. Just as we have a season for tears, there are also seasons for joy. So I hope that was helpful. I mean, it's, it's kind of a redundant message, but... Um, not so much because no matter how many times people tell me this, no matter how many times I say this to other people, I always find that we forget because when we get in, in those seasons where we're struggling and when we're tired and when we feel like nothing that we have done is has worked, we really do need to be encouraged and reminded that if the Lord did it before, he can do it again. He has done it for countless other people and he can do the same for you. If he could take Terrence Howard from a season where he's in my living room feeling like he just needs to stop acting and singing and doing everything and just maybe pick something else to do and takes him from that to having the desires of his heart, then he can do the same for you. He can do the same for me. Make sense? I hope so. I hope this was helpful and I hope it was encouraging. Until next time, bye.